Hello and welcome to Phasecast. It's a it's a podcast where I myself, Geox, and my friend Zigna here are Hello. two nerds who talk about nerd things. Uh, today's main topic is whether or not Luke Skywalker from the movies is a good character. Spoilers, he's not. And uh, our side topic hey. that I want to talk about first is uh, why is Chris Pratt everybody? Eric, Chris Pratt is Garfield now, and I don't care. Why? Why are we even doing Garfield? What's going on? I think I think you you mentioned before that it may be that they were going to lose out on the property. Is it Sony that owns Garfield? I don't know, but it's probably Fox or somebody. It, Fox sounds right to me. I don't know. I I don't care enough about Garfield to look too much into this. It's not Jim Jarmusch or whoever owns whoever wrote the comic. Who? He's a, he didn't he didn't write Garfield. It's Jim no, no, Jim no. Davis. Jim Davis. Listen, all I know is people who actually write and create comics are never accredited, and it always goes to bigger companies eventually. Jim Davis actually made a ton of money off of Garfield. and he, Which is good. And he made Garfield, I think because he was frustrated that nothing was taking off that he was doing. So he was like, you want something stupid? Then I'm going to give you a, a dumb cat that So he just Mondays. copied Heathcliff? Probably, I don't know. I mean, there's a Heathcliff is another orange cat that looks almost exactly like Garfield. That's really? I thought. Yeah, he... you should look up Heathcliff. That's, but that's not for here. Who's what the comic is for dog? Here? I don't know who the comic dog is. All I know is Chris Pratt is gonna be Garfield and Mario, and I don't understand what world we live in. So, I feel like, I feel like this happens where a man gets cast in a thing. A young person and then they start just putting them in everything i saw somebody kind of discussing this uh, how it's sort of a trend and and i guess i guess that that's true but he also has to accept these this is what he wants to do i mean that kind of sounds like a chris pratt thing i mean we, we everyone saw that video if not you should look it up where he's talking about how he got cast as mario which at first thought i'm like why are we why do i care about a star-studded cast in mario and, but then he was just like, I get to be Mario. I'm so excited. And then he did it in his not Mario voice because he wants to say it. Um, I think Chris Pratt resonating with a fat, lazy orange cat. There's something in there. There's something in there, right? He, he used to be a fat, lazy orange cat. I, yeah, but then he got buff. He stopped drinking all that beer. You know, Bill Murray used to be Garfield. Yeah, and he regretted it. That was one of my favorite. Yeah, I know. Zombie Land. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I, uh, but, but it was uh, so. I took, I took my friend's little sister to see Garfield. Not because I wanted to go. I definitely didn't want to go see Garfield or anything. But I Why'd recall. Why take your friend's little sister to see Garfield then? Uh, because she wanted to go. Not because I had any interest at all in Garfield. I didn't want to go. For sure didn't want to go. Uh, but but what I recall from the movie Garfield is that the, the villain of Garfield, like, like, <laughs> like, really hates lasagna. And that Bill Murray did a pretty alright job. And, and, and Bill Murray's alive, so why can't, well, because I guess he doesn't want to. I just want Bill Murray to play Garfield forever. Not because it's good for him, but because it's enjoyable for me as a meme to have around me. Did... I'm sorry, I'm still reeling over the fact that you definitely wanted to go see the Garfield movie and you're hiding it by the fact of saying you went with your friend's sister. There was a period where my friend's sister was of an age where she wanted to see movies that it wasn't socially acceptable for me to see at the age that I was at. So I was like, hell yeah, we'll go see The Jungle Book 2 and Return to Neverland or whatever the hell other movies. You were definitely a kid when Return to Neverland came out. I feel like we were like, mm, no... Well, yeah, but not like a, not like a, I feel like that movie was for toddlers. The Return to Neverland? <laughs> yeah. I, when Isn't I saw that... it, I was like, this is for babies. Fair. Sure. <laughs> um, but Chris Pratt is part of a crazy church and uh, generally not somebody that I want to see much of right now. I mean, I feel like <laughs> separate the art from the artist and also chris pratt does good work as so, the characters and if did. and if we are going to do that uh then i still don't want it just because i'm tired i, mean, I don't care i'm about tired garfield. of i'm tired okay there's multiple reasons i agree i don't care about garfield i'm tired of chris pratt and i'm i'm tired of i'm tired of that stuff did you like 
like it's like illumination style i don't even know if illumination is doing it but it's like illumination style like rushed art it looks like when they showed garfield the cat it was like i don't want to see anybody half-assed another thing like that we don't call it half-assed or rushed we call it an artistic choice eric it's an art i guess sure fine it's an artistic choice to <laughs> to draw bad that's fine but i don't want to see the draw bad i don't want to see it i want to see ice age six i feel like i just want to I... watch coco again <laughs> chris pratt's gonna be mario and garfield when do we uh what else is he gonna be though marmaduke marmaduke is the dog's name and he'll probably be that too oh i'd watch chris pratt as shaggy Matthew Lillard has that locked down, <laughs> dude. There's no reason just, to change that. Casey I'd Kasem Chris played Pratt him till he died. Blank. That's true. Matthew That's true. Lillard's gonna play him till he dies, mm -hmm. probably. Except he wasn't in that, that Scoob, the Scoob. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You didn't see I, Scoob? No, I didn't see Scoob. And so, I feel so like my friend's I didn't sister wanted to see Scoob. I'm gonna pause you right there, buddy. I think. I think we gotta give the people what they want. And I think I also gotta give myself what I want. You wanna argue like, with me about Luke Skywalker? No, I wanna prove you wrong about Luke Skywalker. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Luke Skywalker, whether he is a good character or not, and you said in the nine films... In the nine <clears throat> films, specifically, yes. The nine films that he appears in. Well, five of the nine films. No, and we... Do, <laughs> he is a baby. He's, He's not he is a baby. episode one or two. He's a baby for a second. And it's very important character development that happens in those moments. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sure him saying goo goo gaga and crying as his mother dies is really good for the baby's character. I bet that is permanently traumatic. It's a good thing that those little humming robots were there. I don't think the kid knew, dude. It's fine. So, yeah, um... We have at length discussed this topic, and what better way for me to finally and fully prove myself right than to post it on the internet, right? Um, so, Luke Skywalker... Opening is arguments, good or please. A bad Opening arguments, Luke Skywalker is a good hero, not a good character. He hits every single beat on the hero's journey, and it's fun to watch him uh, succeed and go through all that, but at the end, he's kind of milk toast. He's kind of boring. He's kind of two-dimensional. He's kind of... Yeah, bland. So, what I would say... This is your that, opening statement, not to me. <laughs> what is your opening statement? What I would that? say, in general, is that I think that Luke goes through some really good development. I think that he is a troubled teen uh, at the start of A New Hope post baby years um and he uh he's whiny he's a he's a whiny kid but justifiably so because he's he's a he's a he's an upset teen in a in a tough world he goes through a lot of development he goes through things with his father with his with his mentors uh all of these things that bring him to a place in return of the jedi where he's he's grown into a character that you can respect a little bit more because he's a he's an adult who takes on a, uh, the mantle of this of this this legend that he has to uphold of the Jedi, and he goes to his father, and he and he and he and he confronts his fears, and then and then goes through some things in the sequel movies. I'm not crazy about some of the development in the Last Jedi, but I am. But I I do the best part of his development. I do appreciate where he gets to in the Last Jedi. I think that that when he when he talks to Yoda, uh, all of that stuff, he he gets to a place where where he's a character that has a has a full arc, and I know it's it's a hero's journey thing. It's a it's a pretty basic story, but but he's a he but he's he's got depth to him that I don't think that you get, you give credit. What depth do you think Luke Skywalker has? So what can you tell me about <laughs> Luke Skywalker's character? That isn't based on his actions. That isn't just the th that isn't just a list of accomplishments. Well, so there's give the me three adjectives for Luke Skywalker, please. Fun, 
flirty and then thirty right, <laughs> ready to mingle. I, I think that I think that so there's the scene in in uh, in Empire Strikes Back where he goes in. It's like the cave. He goes into the cave to face his fears, and he sees mm -hmm. himself uh, in in Darth Vader's mask. That's a revelation for him. He realizes that evil in himself, and he and he chooses to fight against it. He chooses to fight against it. Yes, yeah, the hero's journey. But that, he, that that once again is an accomplishment he did. What about his character? about his in-depth, personal growth speaks out to you for Luke Skywalker? Or is it simply because, I'm Luke Skywalker, I was whiny teen, but I'm the son of space Jesus. Oh no, my mentor died, like in every single fucking hero's journey. But it's okay, I learned to get better. But we have a whole extra movie, so I'm gonna have another mentor, and he's also gonna die on me. <laughs> For my hero's journey. He doesn't die till the third one, though. He survives uh, a little bit. He survives a little bit, yeah. And Luke but, goes back to Yoda with all of the wisdom that he has gained from Empire, because he he what leaves, wisdom? He he leaves hastily from Yoda on Dagobah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yoda tells him, "Don't do that," but he's like, "I gotta do it because I need to help my friends." He realizes the selfishness of that action. Gets him into a position where he loses his hand. But he realizes he yeah. realizes the selfishness the selfishness mm -hmm. of that action. He mm -hmm. realizes his need to train with Yoda, and he goes back, ready to do it. Yoda's old and tired. And then he has to find it in himself. That's good stuff, I, man. I think I would like to counter your point but by saying that no, he did not realize he failed because he still went after his friends in the beginning of Return of the Jedi. Did he did he immediately go back to to learn things from Yoda? No. He just he just showed up to save Han with Leia and then was like, "I should go finish my training. My master is dying." Well, fuck. That is that so, is so he didn't learn anything from anybody luke's luke did not learn from any masters and i and i'm really and that's a nut like that's one thing he's like oh luke trained i'm like did he did he really he had like one scene where yoda was on his back and saying let's run around this way and use the force and then the only reason he let that happen was because yoda's like mm -hmm. Watch the X-Wing rise. And then he did it to show, like, look at me, I'm a badass. But Luke learned... Luke, You Luke... still haven't given me an adjective so, for Luke. So what, what I will say is, is that you are right. He does go to Jabba's palace first. Yeah. He sees that through. But I feel like at that point, it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to be like, oh, sorry, I gotta, I'm not going to save Han. I got to go. I got to go talk to this this other guy for a no little bit first. no yeah that's that's fair and that's true but i'm saying once again that's just an accomplishment you listed buddy well but so and then so so let's let me ask in general mm -hmm. uh if 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 it's not accomplishments what is it that in general makes a good character to you emotional depth relationships to other characters and actually like you know having an inner war and learning from it and overcoming it and then evolving as a person so so let me get into first first point emotional depth right luke luke's got emotional depth in his <laughs> in his in his con uh, in his conflict with his father that's a really tough thing for him and it shows in 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 the movies uh he has to he has to come to terms with this evil first off he he doesn't even know that it's that he's related to the evil but he has to come to terms with the evil just existing in the world and having to face it. Uh, then he finds out that he's directly related to the evil, mm -hmm. which is a whole conflict that he goes through that he has yeah. to resolve in Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And he does. That's true. That's good. That's good. Describe a character trait of his that you like. I think he's plucky. Plucky. I think he's that is the first adjective you've given me during this entire thing. So, Luke Skywalker is a whiny teenager, correct? Yeah, beginning, and plucky. Beginning, 
and he's a plucky, whiny teenager mm-hmm. who who's more mad that his friends are out there leaving the desert planet and farm life than I think he is actually like fighting against the rebellion. Because if he really cared about fighting against the rebel, like fighting for the rebellion against the empire, he he would have gone and done it already. Oh yeah, he just wants to get out. Everybody wants to get out of there. Parents' yeah, he, house. He just wants to. I mean, he's with his, yeah. He just wants to get out. But but all he did was come whine and complain about it. Uh, call to action happens where you know, hey, we need you to help us. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. And then there's like, yeah, he's there's a refusal to the call because he's like, I can't do that. I, 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 I'm no Jedi. What are you talking about? And then uh, all of a sudden, oh, tragedy strikes, and he's forced to go to the action because you know his aunt and uncle died. Because you know, all those tracks lead home, and then he runs back home to find but, skeletons immediately, which is hilarious to me. But those 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 things that force him are the things that build his character. But we don't see like the character taking action and doing things. We see the force I, making I, yeah. things happen and him just point. being a part of it. Like. The Force is using Luke like a puppet because it liked to use, you know, the Skywalkers as puppets uh, to enact its will because the Force seeks balance. And uh, Luke uh, was the Force's answer to, to them being like, hey, Anakin fucked up. We need Anakin to bring balance to the Force. Uh, Luke, go do that for us. So what... What your argument then is, is that it's it's more about, to you, plot devices that then bring on the next plot device. And there isn't a lot of... I say that <clears throat> Luke hits story beats because he's an actor on a stage. Stage direction is... This, the director is the force saying, all right, now you walk here and then you're going to turn off your targeting computer. Don't worry, we got you. You're going to look so fucking cool doing this. But uh, it's... You know, it's us, but you're, you're the one people are going to look at and think is really cool. Uh, you yourself didn't push to do anything. You yourself didn't, like, uh, have a desire to fight against the Empire until other people told you to. You yourself are just an Avatar puppet for us to make change. And I don't see... Like, he's a good hero because he does all do all that stuff and he does have complications with his dad, which is... Yeah, and, uh, one yeah. of his only character growths. But when you have a hero in a story hidden hero beats, you want them to be the one who's triumphant at the end. And at the end of Return of the Jedi, Anakin did all the work. Well, Luke yeah. did not. And that's something. Father, help. That's, that's something that I that I have have mentioned to you. I know before is that is that um, it's. It's Anakin's story, for the but most we don't, part. But we don't know that when we first, when those movies came out. When when the first Star Wars movies came out, it was, you know, New Hope, Empire Strike Back, Return of the Jedi. Right, it should but if have we... been Luke Skywalker's journey. It became more with the prequels and, like, revealing more of Anakin's character, who is a fully fleshed out character through all of his arcs. But his son... His son is a plot device for his own means, and that was the first character that we're introduced to. The first protagonist. Our main hero of the original Star Wars trilogy is a puppet. Yeah, but... I, so, I, I would... I, I get what you're saying about him being, like, a puppet of the Force, whatever. That mm-hmm. may be. But I think that they show him dealing with that enough, and the ways that he deals with it, and the ways that he grows as a person because of it... And then and then falls apart as a person in the in the sequel movies because of it, uh, to give him uh, give him real character. I think that gives him 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 real weight as a character. Also, I would say that I, I would say there is a case to be made for for Darth Vader being the 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 main through line of the original trilogy, regardless of the the involvement of the of the prequel movies. But that's. That's a, a good I story so. for another time. I absolutely don't think so, but we can fight that later. Uh, <laughs> Luke's best character development is in the sequel trilogies, because that is where we see him fully realize like himself as a character. Um, I like the Luke Skywalker that we see in The Last Jedi a lot, 
because that is a person who has failed to live up to the legend that everybody else makes him and is dealing with the consequences of everything that happens after. Whereas during the original trilogy, he is just a dude moving about doing things because because there's no real like sense of drive or purpose other than people telling him they should do it and then him immediately adopting doctrines that people tell him to do like, you don't believe in the force do you the thing you just learned about <laughs> yeah no like Han you should be here and help us fight the empire because they're evil and like dude you, we, you just like started taking an interest in politics you you don't get to tell me to, <laughs> but to I join think, the good fight okay but i think that him showing that uh him saying that to han shows a little bit of growth as well because he cares it because it's a sponge i think it's less about the empire and more that he cares about han as a friend and that is also that's your second point about character interaction and the relationships with other characters he builds a relationship with han he builds a he builds a really weird relationship with Leia. And, and, he, that. <laughs> and, he, and he and and that's important to him as a character, and I think that that more drives. I mean, the force. Han the force had drives. better character development in the trilogy than Luke. Oh yeah, Han's the Han's. I love. And him. isn't that bad? Because he's the fucking side character. No, I don't think. I love a, Han. I think, I think he's a side character. I think it's an ensemble movie. I think that Leia, Han, and Luke are all equally important to the movie because because you're right star wars ultimately is about large plot devices that have to keep lumbering forward and i think that the way that they do that best is when they have characters that can support it with their character right but and i feel like what... a lot of stories sorry i need to say this no, i feel okay. like a lot of stories are that large plot devices that move them forward but the characters are interesting along the way yeah that's what Lord i mean the and that's and that's where I feel like just you and I differ. I think that there's enough there for those characters in Star Wars that, that it is interesting to me, and I feel for those characters. Your adjective for Luke was plucky. I can come up that's with another it? one. That's I, it? I asked for three! Uh, hold on. Well, let me... Uh, they'll come to you, me. You, 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 you gotta... Blah, blah, blah. They'll come I to bet me. it's easier if I said Han Solo. Give me three adjectives for Han Solo. Um, uh... Uh... I'm just not in an adjective mood right now, Joe. You can't put me on the spot for What adjectives. about... Okay, fine. Real quick. What about Han Solo's character do you like? <laughs> what about Han Solo's character do I like? He really yeah. comes around. He really comes around in those movies. And then and then sort of... And then sort of... Uh, you mean, uh, so he, he, just, he is a smuggler who is, like, in it for himself and comes yeah. around because he cares about his friends and he grows as a person because he actually likes the people he hangs out with and he sees yeah. a better reality of the world? Yeah. Yeah, and and then good. and then goes through some traumatic events that cause him to sort of, uh, uh, you know, escape yeah. into into outer space and and just go back to his smuggler ways. Yeah, there there are also tropes, also very huge tropes from Han Solo. Han Solo is a a a good care is a better char- not a good character. He's a better character because of the actor who portrays him. Yeah, I went there too. You tell me we you tell me the solo movie was good because of his character development in that. No, I don't even it. really remember the solo movie. I've exactly. seen it like three times, and I can't. Wow. Retain, I can't retain any information from it. I don't know exactly. why. It's not like but, it's. I, it's not like I hated it. It just isn't really. But uh, like he 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 is just a smuggler, bandit dude who turns good and falls in love with the girl. Like that's his character. But even though he has less screen time, and honestly, you know less uh less character development uh he just goes from kind of middle ground to good guy we see more from him in his interactions with leia and luke luke cares about his friends yes but he doesn't really have a like interact like we don't see there's no byplay there's not like in between Mm. the characters he's with I mean, he's the, he's unconscious for a lot of interaction with Han, yeah. which is important development for Han. The fact Great that he goes Han. out there and gets him is like, oh, okay, this is really he really has come around. This is a mm-hmm. this is a good a good friend of his now. But 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 I, I disagree. I think that that's what I mean when it, when 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 Luke approaches Han, he's like, you gotta help. That's about that's about their friendship, not about the Empire. 
No, it's not. It's it's not about their friendship. It's about the Empire. And also, Luke's interactions with Han in that movie are him complaining about his ship, him complaining about the fact he doesn't believe in the Force, him complaining about the fact that he's leaving. Like, Luke is just kind of a shitty dude to Han during all these movies and expects better of Han. And Han's just like, okay, kid. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Yeah, because Han's got a little more experience. And yeah, Han's sort of older. Brush it off. Yeah. And also has a life. As opposed to Luke, who is like, I grew up on a moisture farm drinking blue milk. God, I hate it here. I wish I was out there. And I wish people had the social responsibility that I only now just gained. Yeah, okay, fair. But, but, I'm just saying, I think that there's, I think that, that you're just, you're counting out those interactions that he has. I think I just talked about those interactions and told them what they were. And all you're saying is, I think I'm not, you say I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I just disagree with what what you think they are, I guess. But that's but that's okay. I I I I, I really do though. Good, uh, really good comeback. <laughs> no, I just I think that on a fundamental level, you think that there's there's something else going on with Luke's character that I do, and maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit too much. But I, but I genuinely think when people are drowning. They grasp for as much things as they can. Yes. I'm not drowning. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Luke's best on the character land. development is from my favorite Star Wars movie, and I'm going to get a lot of shit for that, but I don't care. The Last Jedi. So That is the most character he's ever gotten, and I love that version of Luke. Let's let's fan those flames for a second, and I will say that Last Jedi is also one of my favorite Star Wars movies as a, as a standalone film. Because in general, I really like movies. I think as a piece of film, it's an incredible movie. Mm -hmm. It's the, the the color choices, the shots that they oh. get in the movie. The writing's pretty good, pretty solid throughout, too. It touches on a lot of deeper subjects that Star Wars doesn't often get into. Um, it's, just a, it's just a great movie. And I think really the only problem with The Last... Well, no, that's not true. I that's think one of the main true. problems with The Last <laughs> Jedi is what happens in rise of skywalker uh, but but so La last jedi on its own though my big problem with last jedi is not luke's character as a whole but sp specifically the fact that they play into his whininess so much i think that that discredits the development that he's made up to that point as a human being as a character um when you I fail that much you you regress eric See, that's I just the whole thing. He regressed hard, because I think Luke Skywalker. If we are talking about his true character development, Luke Skywalker went from whiny kid to I'm in the big leagues. I have to act, look, and be the legendary Jedi, Luke Skywalker. And that's it. Like he went to that and that, and he had to live that. And when he failed that, the only thing he knew at before legendary Luke Skywalker. Whiny kid who saw the world as problems. Yeah, he did have to grow up fast. I get... Yeah. Yeah. So, I think the, the so movies are okay. like what? I think the movies are only like what? Six years? Like the original trilogy happens in like a six year span technically? Oh, I don't even know if it's that much. Oh, God. Like what? He's like... I think it's like... It's either six... It's like four to six years. Yeah, I think I think four sounds right to me, but I don't, Which, I don't know for sure. That's a Let's lot. And then after that... Yeah, find that out. And then after that short years, he's just like, all right, you're the legendary Jedi now. What do you do? I guess I have to restart... I have to start the Jedi Academy and teach a whole bunch of new students and then do this and this and this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. So him, you know, regressing... What was it? How many? It's four years. Four years. Oh, yeah. Four years? That's not a traumatizing time to be a part of war <laughs> and then be a leader. And then, you know. Uh, so him, like, failing and losing the academy that he worked so hard because he let fear, anger, and hatred take control of himself and stand over a bed where his nephew is with a lit lightsaber? I just feel like, My dude. I just feel like it is. It's still. What I mean, it is a big deal. Probably Kylo Ren killed a bunch of kids. Kylo Ren killed everybody else. <laughs> but but I still think that it's a it's a little bit of a of a of an extreme reaction to just go to an island to die after everything that Luke has been through. I just I just I think I think it would have been 
more reasonable to have him in that situation ready with some kind of plan. If, but if Luke Skywalker was a part of the bigger universe, the Empire wouldn't, the new uh, order would not have happened. The first order? So, the first order. Yeah. If, if first sorry, order, sorry, if Luke wasn't a part of, of what? Of what now? If, if Luke wasn't part of the galaxy, like, was part of the galaxy as a whole, sorry, he, the, for, the first order wouldn't have happened because he would have stopped. And that's my problem with it is that he so so yoda goes into exile right but he goes into yeah, exile because he failed but he goes into exile saying you say we're he has a plan. return he, he never into, says that hold on he does finish. not say that no 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 i will not have you gas like this that is not true that is not what yoda did yoda says i have failed and then he leaves he did not go into exile with a plan to come back i'm sorry i'm doing this to you but i will not stand here and listen to it he exiles himself because he failed and he said, we will come back. We have to be in hiding. He doesn't say he has a plan. That man didn't have a plan. So let me we finish, saw Yoda. Let me Sorry. finish my thought. He, <sighs> he returns. He, he, says, he says specifically to Obi-Wan that they're going to they're, they're gonna do something when the time is right. They're going to, they're, they can strike back or whatever. I forget the exact line. Yeah, I don't think he says. I, he I'll said, look but... it up in the screenplay. I swear to God he does. But so he says that. And and I get it. Yeah, he also says that he failed because he did fail. You're right. But but he but he acknowledged that failure, then went into exile, not because he was, I, I mean I'm sure he was depressed, but he had some semblance of a plan. I don't to think re, so. to return. And 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 I just can't see Luke, not having something ready, especially when Yoda lost the entire the entire government, all of the the Galactic Senate fell to Darth Sidious, who is now peacefully in charge of it. Um, mm -hmm. That's a big deal. You're right. Luke could have stopped the First Order. His nephew joined a space gang, and then just and then and then he just got upset about it and 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 went into exile. And and that's I feel like a pretty important difference. And that's where it's tough for me to accept. Hold that. on, hold on. I think I found a major flaw in your plan. That when I point out it, you will realize I've always been right. <sighs> Are you oh, no. ready for this? Oh, no. You just said Luke Skywalker wouldn't just go into hiding without a plan? Luke never fucking has a plan. What are you talking about, son? Luke is the most impulsive, idiotic person in the world, in the galaxy at that point. My friends are in trouble. I'm going to leave training and just go to Cloud City. Oh, I don't have a plan for my aunt and uncle dying. I'm just going to follow this old man who says I'm cool. Empire Strikes Back. I got captured. I'm just going to talk to my dad about it. And everything's going to work out fine. Luke Skywalker never has a plan. Why are you mad that he didn't have a plan when that's always been him? His impulsiveness has been his most known trait. If you had said impulsive, I would have been like, that's an adjective for Luke Skywalker. Because you know what's impulsive? Standing over your nephew's you know, bed while he sleeps holding a lit lightsaber because you had a bad dream. Yeah, That's you know, impulsive. So I will say what... what, what him leaving to what go that, to exile what because that, he failed what that That's has done impulsive. for me has given a little bit of a little bit of of insight into why someone might think that him standing over the bed like that with the lightsaber would be a good thing to put into the script so that's you're right he is impulsive i've never really thought about that and 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 that is true that is an impulsive thing to do but i think that also saying that that his plan to go meet darth vader on the death star uh was, was not was, a plan he was not captured. a plan he got it, captured he he meant plan. to get captured no he didn't he did he says that i mean that was not the original plan the original plan he was told was like hey we're gonna go take care of this and then he's like oh no the plan it's not working i'm gonna get captured by my dad and everything's gonna be okay yeah, his his plan was to face his fear. that's not a plan that's that's an action that you take, and and then and then you're right. Let the force guide him a little bit, and that is sort of a, a thing mm -hmm. that Star Wars do do. Yeah, but, Star Wars do do. But I'm gonna find. Did you find the sc the screenplay to Revenge of the Sith? Because I'll find it. You do that while I explain to the lovely audience that Luke Skywalker <laughs> failing, uh, in his role, and then outcasting himself and being in exile, and then learning that he does have to be a part of the universe and teach is a beautiful, beautiful thing because it just mirrors what he did with his master. 
that is a beautiful circle that finally comes to completion where not only does he teach the next generation, he acts kind of weird about it because he's like drinking milk from the teat or something. And he's just like, <laughs> I'm Luke. Ah, that's not how the force works. Oh, you feel the force? Like him being weird and kind of crazy because, you know, he is depressed because he lost his entire order. That's not something that another person we know in the universe did or anything like that. Is a beautiful thing. He even gets to talk to uh, Muppet Yoda. My favorite version of Yoda. Don't get started on the Muppets. I want to hear he's the not quote a, about he's not Yoda. A Muppet. He's, he's not a Muppet. Muppet. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, it's beautiful because he actually goes to the character development arc where he like he becomes his master. He sees all that. And he even finally reconnects <laughs> with the Force, joins it, and does a really cool scene with Kylo Ren. People give that like, oh, that's not a Force power. I don't care. That scene was rad. Where he where he projects shot. himself to the to the battle. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's a that's he a just good scene. memes all over Kylo and I, Ren. And I think that that is good good development for his character too. Best development he, for his he, character. He he has to he has to become the the legend. Put the yep. Put that out there and then and then but so and I will say also, um, the scene with Yoda I think is good. That starts moving Luke in a good direction. Uh, mm -hmm. And and Yoda is is not a Muppet. There were Henson, there were Henson people who worked on Star Wars that were loaned to George Lucas. He did ask Jim Henson to do it, but he didn't do it. Uh, but they were friends, so they traded like industry secrets. Um, and then also though, if mm -hmm. he were a Muppet, not all. <laughs> so mm -hmm. so listen, Joe. Uh -huh. No, Listen, I'm Joe. just looking at my phone at this point. Sorry, Will you look internet. for the script while I talk about the Muppets. Not all. No, that was your job. I don't want to look for. Not that, all. That sense should be. Not all Henson creations are Muppets. All, uh, there's there's so there's creatures and there's Muppets. So things like the things that show up in like Labyrinth sometimes are not technically Muppets. The Muppets are like I think Sesame Street and the Muppets if are the only thing that count. Look up the definition of Muppet. It says, a type of puppet created by Jim Henson, the Jim Henson Company, or the Muppets Holding Company. Yeah, but the, the, but, the, but the creatures that require operation outside of the standard Muppet procedure, which I think would include Yoda, so Yoda wouldn't be a Muppet even if he were a Jim Henson creature. That's all. Let me get back to the script. Hold on. <laughs> yes, please. Because, oh boy. Ugh. I swear, I gotta find, my phone's yeah. dinking out. Your phone's dinking out? I can't. It's it's freezing because it doesn't want. It doesn't you know want the truth. I mean, the truth is that Yoda failed, and he didn't have a plan. If he had a plan, like what was it? What was the plan? If you say the plan was to to wait for something to happen, that's not a fucking plan. The they they misread the balance of the force, in their hubris. In their the humans, they misread the... Yes, yes, yes. The, the, there's balance in the Force. There's a shit ton of light-sided Jedi forcing our religious ways on people. And then there's, like, no Sith. So we're and, fine. And fighting as military. So they needed, they needed that balance. When Yoda realizes that that is the case, he's like, oh no, we have to... We have to... We have to wait for... The, I mean, and, it, and it's, again, it's the Force thing, but that's... He did what? Just what, Star realize Wars. what case? Like he, he, all, all of his people died. Yeah, Yoda. Yoda was the at the time I believe the oldest living Jedi, the most senior member of the of the Master Council, and he failed literally everybody by not seeing the evil bad guy in the room, because all he ever did, and once again, this is just the Force doing whatever fuck, so we can not blame Yoda. But if we want to blame Yoda, all he ever did. Was say don't feel feelings. Who is mm. that? What? Who is that? Mm. Don't feel feelings. Like he, <laughs> that remember, was better. <laughs> his prequel, the prequel Yoda, for some reason. Well, I know for why. Was was a serious man who who was never awesome, and he like and like crazy. You know, yeah, not, he, not he didn't crazy go crazy yet. Yeah, from he didn't the, go crazy on Dagobah yet. From the so gases, just, you know. The Yoda we see in the prequel trilogy movies is a serious dude with a serious face who literally tells Anakin to stop feeling things. Good mastering. But that's and but that's so he doesn't he doesn't have I think that what it is at the end is is Yoda just realizes that he needs to bide his time and wait for the force to guide him 
That's not a plan. It's a better plan than going to an island to die. That's the same plan. That's a different plan. It's literally the same plan. The 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 demeanor. They literally that... exiled themselves because of failures and lied in wait. That's the same thing. The... Except, except Luke decided to cut off his connection to the Force because reasons. Probably because he was hiding from Leia. Because Leia would be able to sense his ass as soon as he reconnected with the Force. That's why he disconnected. But that makes sense. Yeah, well, because because he can't. But 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 it's just that. It's just that that he that his demeanor about it, his 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 depression about it, is is uh, Be, because he didn't because it. It's the same. It's just Yoda's depression was craziness by being alone all these years. Luke had fish people to talk to and hang out with, uh, but also like he. Did he know he, their language? I don't even... Oh, you know. You know. I mean, they, they all know the language. They just speak, you know, galactic basic at them, and then they will respond back in their weird alien tongue. But, no, Luke, Luke being depressed after... Dude, imagine. Like, literally imagine rebuilding things from scratch and being the hero. And then failing. Yoda being like just a master of an order that's been around forever and then failing, that's awful too. But Luke was supposed to be the savior. Luke knew he was a legendary hero. And he failed. He even makes a point about saying like the legendary Luke Skywalker. And like condemning himself. So like, man, that's all like classic like ways to deal with trauma. Like that is... Not unbelievable. That's the most believable thing Star Wars has ever done. That actually sounded a little bit like Mark Hamill when you did that. I enjoyed that. But so I get Thank what you're you. saying. That 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 he, as a kid, who is given this mantle, is then just unable to deal with the realization that the mantle is 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 sort of bullshit. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like like he like he failed doing the mantle the one thing he was doing in right. his life his entire time right from his aunt and uncle dying he was like i have to this is who i am i'm the legendary luke skywalker i fucked up i fucked up everything not only do, are all of my students in the way of life that i was told i was supposed to bring back into this world is gone mm -hmm. but i've also alienated and ostracized my nephew so my 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 family my my sister and han solo my brother han solo is his brother at this point yeah i have failed them time to fuck off because i'm such a big ass failure so i understand what you're saying and I, and i and i get that perspective but i i still just think that it it just takes it a little bit a little bit too far i i, I because because in the same way and and maybe Maybe Yoda was less sad about the Jedi Order falling. No, I don't know. Yoda felt but, all that. But, Do you remember but that Yoda, scene? Yeah, I know. He, he felt like, all the Jedi like, <laughs> Um And then he failed in his revenge against them. He so, failed to kill Palpatine. Yeah, so I think... Fail, but, fail, but, fail, and fail. So, and, and, he, and he still came out of that with a little sliver of hope. And here it is. I found the I, line. I found the line. Please, and this I'd is, love to hear and it. And this is right after... This is right after he's talking with Bail Organa and Obi-Wan about where to send the children, which is part of a plan, Joe. It's part of a That's plan. That's not a plan. That's right protect that. the kids. Protect the kids. I'm going to wait on a planet by myself is not a plan. It's right after that that he says, uh, well, first off, he says, hope we can. So he's got some hope. No, he's saying we, we, that's the only thing that he can do. He says, strong the force runs in the Skywalker line. Hope we can. Done. It is. <laughs> I wish I could read Yoda better. Until the time is right, disappear we will. Until the That's not is right. a plan! I feel like How is that a plan? It's more of a plan than going to an island and saying, I'm just going to die here. And that's where there's a... There's that's a what he did! What? Just <laughs> because he said something, it wasn't on an mean island, it's a Joe. Plan. It wasn't on an island. It was in a swamp. He died in the swamp. 
But it wasn't his intention in going there. What did he actually do for Luke? Huh? What did Yoda do for Luke? What did Yoda do for Luke? What did Yoda do for Luke? He instilled the confidence that he needed. No, he didn't. When? Through his training. What training? When he what? When he would like Yoda rocked on his what, like was on his back as a backpack, telling him to lift and run faster, and then Luke just saying it's not working. This doesn't work. I'm gonna go into this tree. He's like, be careful of the tree, and then he goes in the tree and he kills himself, which is Darth Vader, which is just to, to you know, you could be that because that's your dad. A lot of different messages, and then he's just he doesn't learn anything from Yoda he's because so- then he goes off on his own. To just not listen, like the entire time he doesn't listen to Yoda. The entire time he doesn't really care. He's and then when he finally does Yoda. see Yoda came, and when he finally does see Yoda again, right? When he finally does, like, I have to go finish my training, Yoda's dying. And he's just kind of like, oh, about it. Yoda sends him to that, to the Darth Vader hollow. Yes, to, to, to trip, hopefully to train him. In that tree. Yeah. And, and that's important. Do, it didn't do anything for him, man. What did Luke didn't I think, learn anything. I think that developed Luke as a character. And I think that How? he did a pretty good job. I think that he had to face his fear. That was the first time in his life. Well, I mean, I guess he saw his aunt and uncle burned alive. But yeah. he it's, it's, it's a series of events where he has to face his fears and then learn to deal with them, which is what he does. I mean, we don't, like, but, like, the face the fear was, like, what fear? The fear to fight Darth Vader? He didn't have a fear to fight Darth Vader. He wanted. He's impulsive and wants to get in there. He doesn't have a fear to fight Darth Vader. That's not what we learned from the tree. I think that he is afraid of Darth Vader, and that's what that scene shows: is that he's he's afraid of of Darth Vader and and himself and what he can become. I think that was the force telling him that like yes you can become him but also hey dude it's a skywalker under there oh secret message for well it is it is good foreshadowing too yeah the foreshadowing was that like oh it's luke in there and like that's weird like oh no it's anakin oh that's his dad that that's what that scene was um but honestly can can it can it be both I mean, if you want to interpret it as such, but I feel like my interpretation is a bit stronger than the fact that, oh, it's facing your fears. I disagree, but... But... But, but that's you don't fine. have anything to back it up. You just disagree. Well, no, I think that... I mean, what back what up, exactly? What would you like me to back up? I mean, it feels like every time I, I come at you with the way I see things and I talk about it, right? And I'm like, this is this, 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 this. Your answer is, well, I just don't see it that way. Good, glad, awesome. Thanks for make. Thanks for convincing me your side is better. <laughs> well, no, you said that it wasn't. It wasn't something that 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 developed Luke in any significant way. That he went through all of that with Yoda, and that Yoda didn't no, do I'm... anything to. So to his develop character him. So development I would say, wasn't the thing. I would know say, he has character development. But what I would say is that he. I'm he, just saying he, he did develop in a three foot pool. I I think that he he three. He's a three least, foot kiddie pool. He's that's that's Luke Skywalker. Pool. He's at least he's a, not a six foot pool. He's when a, he is the last Jedi, he's about a six and a half. But seven wait, foot but pool. wait. So part of the thing though is that I was ready to, to to give you the thing, and then we moved on. So let me tell you, let me tell you again. All I right. think I think that that there there is significant character development when he is training with Yoda because of the scene where he goes in. What is it? A tree or a cave? Well, it's like the cave you know it's the proverbial know, but but i thought we thought it was like the base of a tree which is i think it is no i think you're right that sort of goes both? into it yeah oh yeah. um but anyway i think that's a really important scene i think that 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 is is an important part of him facing his fears uh i think that that yoda does that on purpose because he's he knows what he's doing he knows how to train people um and then also with the x-wing but that's an important thing. Yoda instills confidence in him. He instills the confidence in him to do the things that he needs to do to face Darth Vader. I don't see Yoda instilling confidence in him. I don't think he ever gave him confidence. Well, I think then what, Luke was just... Then what is the X-Wing to you, then? Uh, that's Yoda proving that he can use the Force to Luke. Not Luke getting confidence. That was... You asked the impossible, Mike. 
Meh. It's like, okay, maybe it's not impossible. Well, it is. It is a. It is a proof, but it. But it also. It also. Um, that is him saying you could do this later. That's not giving him confidence. That's like this is proof that this works. You should listen to what I say. Yeah, exactly. All right, Yoda. I'll listen to what you say. Yoda, I'm not listening to what you say. I'm going out to save my because, friends. Because he now has seen the power of the Force and what it's capable of and what he could be capable of, and he takes that away from Dagobah, and he makes the wrong decision leaving. But he, mm-hmm. but he takes that information from Dagobah, and he, and he, uh, and he, and he grows with it. I just don't think confident is a is a term I would ever use to describe Luke Skywalker. I think, yeah. Well, I think that. Oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Plucky. No, no <laughs> that's the only adjective that I can think of today. It's uh, uh, oh, I guess he's like a little overzealous. He he. Impulsive. He, yeah, he is impulsive. He's That's plucky, it. impulsive, plucky, overzealous, impulsive. and overzealous ready to mingle. Is... <laughs> but I think that, that that still his his impulsiveness mm-hmm. his impulsiveness is what the plot needs to move forward in the way that it does. And I don't think that, that necessarily yeah. makes no, him a yeah. bad character. I mean it doesn't make him a good character. He becomes well, just an actor on a stage. He literally just is I am going to do the hero's journey, which is why he is like, I'm not saying I don't like Luke Skywalker. I love Luke Skywalker. I'm a Star Wars fan. But I I like McDoubles from McDonald's, too. But it doesn't mean it's good. McDoubles are good. McDoubles no, are objectively They're good. objectively not good. They're not they're good for you. They're objectively trash. They make me feel bad every time I eat them. I mean, they're like a dollar. So, like, they're I would equate... not even a dollar anymore. They're like a dollar eighty or something. Man, then I would equate but... Luke Skywalker to a dollar eighty double cheese but... McDouble. So we'll we're getting long in the in the length. To to you want to you want to uh, to give sort of a Sum closing. Up? Let me let me let me say though, building off of what what you said for for a, a summary, is yeah. is that his impulsiveness and those those plot devices that happen, uh, his impulsiveness is what drives that plot forward, and the and the and the plot devices that happen to him are what grow him as a character. It is it is you know impulsiveness for the for the sake of 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 it i guess but but those things that happen to him do do affect him and you can see in the in the in the writing of the movie and the way that he interacts with people throughout the the five movies that he's in that that he does that he does develop as a character and i think that the only problem with this character is there's there's a little bit too much regression in the last jedi in general (laughs) <laughs> best part of his character in general i think that i think that there's there's good development there by the end of return of the uh, jedi he's he's so calm and collected and it's not because he's it's calm fully, and collected in the beginning of the movie yeah at jabba's palace but then also at the death star and it's not because he necessarily has all of that calm and all of that collectiveness but it's because he knows that that's that's what he he no that's good needs. but uh, sorry no, no, no. He, that, you're right. And, and then, and then you could make that as an argument. I think for for the Last Jedi and the and the windings, I, but I just think they take it too far. They I, take I it too think far. they take it exactly. That's real, and I think the fact that you don't think that's real is man. I wish I lived your life. Oh, anyway, um, to sum it up on my end, the fact that the only adjectives that we can think of for Luke Skywalker are plucky, uh impulsive and hero really you know what that's i mean yeah exactly (laughs) but that's all i'm here i gave you i gave you a third one heroic 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 uh really really just make it seem like he has the depth of a three-foot pool and you can wait in a kiddie pool and enjoy it i love me a lazy river as much as the next guy but it's not good i love luke skywalker as a character I think he is a good hero, and he's fun, and his story and his journey is great with the best and deepest parts of his character showing up in The Last Jedi. But at the end of the day, milk is milk. Milk is good for your bones. I like cheese. Kids like cheese. What's wrong with cheese? Cheese is good. Listen, yeah. I, I, and he's I American. understand... I, I like I'm, pepper jack. I'm, I'm happy, Joe, that, that we had this conversation because I do, I do understand more where you're coming from and it has brought some some light for me to 
to uh, uh, some aspects of of Luke's character that I that I sometimes ignore because you can they say make you me hate mad. Me. But but <laughs> no no Joe I love you. But I, and and also and also also lazy rivers are like the reason to pick a resort. If it doesn't that have a lazy river, then what are you doing? And absolutely also, true. why don't they have adult lazy rivers where they won't let the kids in? Oh, the dream, the reality. Because, you know, at the end of the day, lazy rivers and three-foot pools are for kids, just like Star Wars. So, uh, well, all right. Well, that's a that, can be a, that can be a that's different, a different conversation. <laughs> that, I, don't think, I don't think that that was ever, ever George Lucas's intention. Uh, no, George Lucas's intention was to really like write a thousand drafts so he can make a movie yeah he did yeah yeah, yeah. uh star wars is for kids no it's not it's anyway it's uh, one. thank you uh so much for listening to us today we've uh we've run pretty long uh gonna go ahead and wrap it up uh so next time maybe we'll talk about why star wars is for kids or maybe we'll just no. talk about the prequels yeah which no. will are also for kids uh star wars is for kids star wars is for kids star wars is for kids star wars was for for me when i was nine and yeah. saw jar jar nice. get, his, get his tongue stuck in that electricity and i cracked mm. up i was like that's the funniest shit i've ever seen in my life <laughs> anyway uh thanks for watching everybody yep. we'll see you next week uh-huh maybe we'll talk about frodo Oh yeah, yeah. We should probably uh, cover. I some want to talk. I, li- I like talking about characters. So characters. Maybe we'll talk about characters. Frodo, or we'll talk about the prequel. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye.